What's up, everybody? Fine James on this rainy day. First off, let me get all the the advertising out the way. Thanks for liking, subscribing. Thanks for liking and subscribing. I like to thank my subscribers. Um, make sure you guys like my Facebook page because I'm gonna be broadcasting live there a lot. Uh, that's in the description. And um, Twitter, all that. Do all that stuff in the description box. So, this morning, I woke up, check, you know, the charts on my phone, like any other day, and Steam was up a lot. I sold a little bit of it. That's what you're supposed to do. I'm learning how to do that. I'm learning how to sell when it's going up instead of holding it. <laughs> so I sold some of it, and it's going down. But something else that I noticed was everything was down a lot, like everything. So I was like, oh, is Bitcoin? I thought maybe Bitcoin had went up a lot overnight. And Bitcoin only went up like maybe 10 bucks. So I didn't think much of it. I was like, wow, Factum's down a lot. Ethereum's down. I expected that a lot. I expected Ethereum to be down. Um, and a lot of other stuff was down. So I bought some Factum. I didn't touch Ethereum. Probably never will. Um, Zcash was down. Mm, that's pretty much it. Well, that's not it, but a lot of stuff was down. I'm just kind of daydreaming, my bad. So then I'm on Twitter, you know, checking my 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 uh, list, my Twitter list of people I follow. And I'm seeing the words Ethereum and hack together <laughs> again and auger. So apparently this guy named Bo Shin, he's a Asian. I don't want to say Chinese or whatever because that will be kind of stereotypical, but he looks like he's Asian. He's an Asian man, some kind of financial guy, some type of money guy. And basically, he got hacked. He well, some kind of he got hacked. I don't know. If, I think his yeah, his private keys got stolen, and uh, somebody stole five hundred. He was one of the first. Uh, well, not one of the first, but one of the big uh, investors in Ethereum and Augur. And someone hacked his private, stole his private keys, and stole five hundred. This is not. Don't really quote me on this because this is Twitter. You know, this is Twitter news. But someone stole $500,000 worth of Ethereum and Augur and dumped it. So, after doing a little bit more research, I looked and found Bo Shin's Twitter to see what he was saying. And, um, no, you know what? Actually, I heard this from a friend. And then I went on Twitter and found out more information. But anyway, so I went on Twitter and found his name and went to his Twitter to see what he was saying and the, the hacker is on his Twitter page talking shit. Uh, I mean, talking junk to um, to people, say, to, to Poloniex saying that they're moving too slow because Poloniex is gonna, uh, was trying to, you know how they like reverse transactions and stuff like that or something like that. But apparently he moved, they moved too slow and he dumped all of it. And I think they're gonna like, don't quote me on this either, this is Twitter. They're gonna, people that bought um, the auger, I call it rep sometimes, that's the, that's the, the short for it, the um, ticker. But they're gonna, they want, people want them to reverse those transactions or something like that. So yeah, basically how he got hacked was email, mobile phone number. And a lot of people have been talking about this lately, people that have their mobile phone number linked to their emails. You can, it's really easy, well not easy, but it's, you can get hacked that way because, um, yeah, you just don't, don't, don't link your phone to your email. And I don't, I'm pretty sure I don't have, I have never really, when it says recovery option, I don't, I never put my phone number in there. So 
I'm good on that uh, as far as that goes. But if your email is linked to your phone number, you might want to unlink that because they're, they're out here hunting for uh, emails and, and private keys. So, but on another note, Steam is up, was up, hit four, it, I think it touched uh, 45,000 Satoshis. I had one more sale at, I put it at 45.1, but it didn't go through it. It's, it's, it's down to like 35 now. So I'm expecting it to pull back, but we just got across on the one day chart for my 13.34 moving average to just crossed on Steam. So I noticed that when it crosses, it usually pulls back. So I think it's gonna pull back. And once it pulls back a little bit more, I might buy a little bit now. I don't think about it. I might buy some a little bit at 35 or wherever it's at now. And I'll buy it on the way down or whatever I need to do. But I'm pretty sure uh, Steam is going to be going up for at least, I don't know how much it is now, but at least uh, 50 cent to a dollar. I mean, all that Steam that's locked up in people's accounts, like, that, it's not like this Steam is floating around on the market like that. So. I can see steam going up, the price of steam. But I'm taking this one. Oh, brace for impact. Okay. So, um, yeah, steam is up. Steam is one of the only ones that's, you know, continuing to rise. Uh, Ethereum is down. I might take a bite of Ethereum at $5, but I will definitely set my stops pretty tight because, um, trusted but I mean five dollars is the price that everybody was talking about I wouldn't pay no more than five dollars for Ethereum I mean I heard like three people say that um, so I'll take a bite at five bucks it's at like six forty dollars six six dollars and forty cents right now uh, Zcash um, I'm not buying Zcash but I am mining it I'm mining it uh, on Genesis I had all my miners pointed at Zcash and now I pointed them all back to Bitcoin except for my equal hash. And my equal hash payments are going up daily because the slow mining period is over. Um, so that's cool. I'm gonna keep mining it. I'm gonna hold, I'm not gonna ever sell my Zcash. I think Zcash is one of those things that's gonna take, it's gonna have to bottom out. And once it bottoms out, I'll be glad that I held on to all of it. But that's about it. Um, everything is red, so I mean, now is a pretty good. If you're gonna be if you're trying to buy some altcoins that you believe in, now's a good time. I bought a little bit of Factum, uh, Dash didn't move too much. Dash is actually up one percent today. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, if you're um, now's a pretty good time to be buying because everything's down, and it's not gonna stay like that because there's a lot of panic. On the X because of what happened. And Ethereum is falling, I mean and Bitcoin, I don't I don't know. I don't know about Bitcoin going up much farther anymore. It's, it's kinda like what's today? If it doesn't go up by this weekend, it's probably gonna go down a little bit more. Uh, to me. But this is not advice. This is not financial advice at all. Even if you think it is, I never said it was can't sue me so yeah like and subscribe like my facebook page um yeah peace